Meet the Hammonds, a truly inspiring family. There's mum Sarah, dad Wayne, four-year-old Isaac, Stephen, who's 14, and the seven-year-old Isabel, who's had to endure so much in her young life. In 2010, she was diagnosed with retinoblastoma, a rare form of cancer. It meant she had to have her right eye removed. The thought that we could lose her because it was that serious, um, it, it was so, so difficult. Um, and all the way through, you know, she's been really, really brave. And I think she's been our strength. And we always thought it was going to be us who were going to be the ones sort of bolstering her up and uh, supporting her. But, you know, I think it's been the other way around, really. She was a little shy when we first arrived at the family home in Dereham. But Isabel soon blossomed, and not a hint of embarrassment as she talked about the artificial eye she can choose from, even one for parties. I really wanted an eye with, which is a different colour to the brown ones that I've got. So I asked if I'm allowed a pink one, but they said that they had no, they couldn't make a pink one. So I had asked for a purple one. They didn't say they couldn't do a purple one. So I asked for a pink and purple one, and um, they said. Um, yeah. Isabel's was a rare form of cancer which affects the retina of children usually under the age of six. Statistically, it affects one in 20,000 live births each year and represents 3% of childhood cancers in the UK. Isabel and her brothers have been given special awards by the Childhood Eye Cancer Trust. Isaac's had an operation on one of his eyes but seems to be OK. Sarah describes Stephen as her rock. When I had to go to the hospital about it, I thought I'd die. But I didn't. No, because you're a brave girl, aren't you? We all look out for each other, really. Like, if I'm down, she'll just come and make me feel happy, or <coughs> the other way round. Just making herself each other happy, playing games. Don't we? Yes. Games that are enjoyed by a family faced with adversity but who've drawn strength from Isabel's courage, illustrated by her return to school after her operation in London. My fear was that they'd sort of like mock her because of she's got a different eye, but she was quite quite good and stood up and sort of like said, my name's Isabel and I've got an artificial eye and sort of like ex briefly explained, said it was poorly and had to be taken away. Yeah. She does me proud. <laughs> if anyone's deserving of the title champion, it's certainly Isabel and her family. Malcolm Robertson, ITV News, Durham.